Rams punched their third straight ticket to the finals last night where they'll meet the Warriors once again. You're a standout obviously because of your size, but also your court vision and your ability to pass and, and really move the ball. This is Elena Deladon's first game back in Chicago since that dramatic trade. And Northwestern goes on to win the game 68 to 66. Talk to me about silver linings. We need some sort of silver lining in this. Sure. Short term, this is going to be a very similar team and similar frustrations as we saw this past season. Hey guys, of course, it's all Cubs everything. The longest drought in sports history has been broken. A high profile game this afternoon as it's Elena Deladon's first game back in Chicago since that dramatic trade in the offseason. This after four seasons with the Chicago Sky as the face of the franchise, not to mention the Mystics are looking for their first road victory of the season to get back to a 500 record. Meanwhile, the Sky looking for their first at home victory to get back to 500. Washington is averaging 83 points a game so far and Chicago's 73 points per game average. So if Washington is making the shots this afternoon, it's going to be hard for Chicago to keep up. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Nojel Eastern, star shooting guard with Edmonton Township High School and now Purdue bound. Congratulations on that. Thank you. You're a standout, obviously, because of your size. That's natural, but also your court vision and your ability to pass and, and really move the ball. Uh, how have you developed those skills? I've never been a selfish player. Um, I always wanted to get my teammates involved. I always wanted to make myself better by making someone else better. For me, I take pride in filling the stat sheet. I want to fill multiple stats, different practices, different practices of yeah. stats. I feel like that looks better if, uh, rather than you have one number, I have right, like 42 right, right, right. points with one assist, one rebound. What's your favorite aspect of the game? Um, aspect of the game, probably passing, of course. Passing. For That's me, what you're good at. That's your specialty, For me, right? passing, um, I'd, I'd, I'd rather make a, a flashy pass than make a, a flashy layup or something like that. But Who, Who's inspired you? I have multiple like people that I try to get my game afterwards. Like My favorite point guard in the league is Chris Paul. <laughs> because he's outstanding, he does everything. You had a bunch of colleges after you, Ohio State, Northwestern, you chose Purdue. Can you tell me some of the reasons why you felt like that was the best fit for you? They, they've been so consistent with me. They've been helping me throughout the process, helping stay there when I uh, had my injury, and uh, they've just been really consistent, and that's what I want was consistency. And uh, I feel like the players and the coaches I created another bond moving on from high school to college. A rough start for the Cubs on their West Coast road trip against the Dodgers last night. The trouble for Cubs pitcher Jake Arrieta started early when he gave up a solo home run in the third. Arrieta gave up four runs in six innings. Meanwhile, the Cubs never found a way to get on the board against the Dodgers pitchers. Cubs three game winning streak ends. They're blanked by LA four to zip. Despite the loss, the Cubs remain atop the NL Central, a half game ahead of the Brewers. And there's no place like home to make the Sox bats come alive. Avisel Garcia got the South Siders on the board with a three run double against the Tigers at guaranteed rate field. And Melky Cabrera put the icing on the cake with a three run homer late. The Sox wallop Detroit by a score of eight to two. Sox and Detroit play a doubleheader today starting at 110. And basketball now, LeBron James and the Cavs punched their third straight ticket to the finals last night where they'll meet the Warriors once again. It's the first time in NBA history that the same two teams have squared off three consecutive times. It's also the seventh straight spring that James himself is making an appearance in the finals. He put up 35 points last night to get there, passing Michael Jordan as the all-time playoff scoring leader, a feat James never thought was possible. You know, when you're growing up and you're seeing Michael Jordan, you, you, it's almost like a god. So I didn't never believe I could be Mike. For my name to come up in a discussion with the greatest basketball player of all time, uh, it's like, it was like, wow. Like I said, I've, I, did, I did pretty much everything that MJ did when I was a kid. I shot fadeaways before I should have. I, I wore a leg sleeve on my leg and folded it down so you saw the red part. For no reason. I wore black and red shoes with white socks. I wore short shorts cause you, so you could see my undershorts underneath. I, I didn't go bald like Mike, but uh, I'm getting there. <laughs> but I'm getting there. <laughs> but it'd be post-career though. Uh, that's the only thing I didn't do. 
<laughs> well, Elena Deladon squaring off with the Sky at her new home in D.C. Mystics led by 24 in the fourth. Sky bounced back with a barrage of threes. Courtney Vandersloot's capped off a 10-0 run to cut the lead to 11, but Deladon had the answer at the end. She had 20 as the Mystics beat the Sky for the second time this week, 88-79.